What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back, and I'm so excited because this year is 2020. You know, 2020 stands for perfect vision, and so this is the year where you gotta go after your vision. You gotta perfect your vision, so set goals, guys. Go after the impossible because I believe in you. This is your time, all right? Go get it. You know, a while back, we were asked a pretty important question in the comments. And the question was, how do I learn new tactics? Now, I totally get why people would even ask this because not every one of us can just play the game and just immediately pick up on things, all right? Sometimes it takes a bit more than that. So today, we're gonna be giving you guys some tips on what we think are the most effective ways to learn new tactics. You ready? Be sure to drop a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, you can always hit that subscribe button to get all the notifications. For today's question, I am wondering what methods do you guys use to learn new tactics? We're going to discuss a few of them today, but I'm curious if you guys have any special techniques that you want to use to expand your game. Let me know in the comments. Just before we begin, if tactics are what you're looking to improve on, all right, you should check out ProGuys.com. Over there, you're going to find courses that are going to teach you a variety of things, including the tactics you're likely to use in Arena. And for more personalized experience, you can run a few matches with one of our coaches. They're gonna review your gameplay and they're gonna tell you precisely what you can improve on. So to get started, you gotta follow the link in the description or visit ProGuides.com. First of all, what is a tactic? Okay, so in Fortnite, it's a pretty broad term, right? But essentially, tactics are a means to an end. Okay, so think of them as the actions or decisions you make to reach a goal. So for instance, if you're in an in-game scenario and you need to rotate, one tactic is to hug the edge of the storm and tunnel in, right? Or, you know, the other way around, you could find another player's tunnel, break in, and use that for cover as you rotate. Those are two different in-game tactics right there. Tactics can also apply at a smaller level. For instance, the specific techniques you use in a box fight. Like, if you know your enemy's HP, you might go for a wall take and then try to play it safe. On the other hand, if you know they're low, using a phasing trick to burst through their wall might be a better way to finish them off. You know, ultimately, how you choose the right tactic depends on their circumstances, right? So we'll get into that in a second, but before that, let's talk about how to discover new tactics. Now, I'm assuming you've already watched our videos, right? And that's a fantastic place to start. We're always releasing technique videos and pro player analysis that does a lot of the work for you, but there's only so much that we can cover. So if you wanna see self-improvement outside of what we provide, you need to do some studying of your own. So the first step to learning new tactics is to analyze a lot of gameplay. Okay, so we find that pro VODs and highlight videos are the best sources. Even though, you know, most of us throw on a cash cup highlight reel and, you know, just watch it for entertainment. If you go in with a learning mindset, there's actually a gold mine of information in those videos. Now, technically, you don't need to have to watch, you know, people play Fortnite to improve. You know, you can do that on your own, gradually by just playing. But if you don't, you're missing out on many potential learning opportunities, guys. Even pro players watch their peers play in the game. You wanna know why? Because even a pro doesn't know everything. You know, there's always more to learn, no matter how advanced of a player you think you are. And sometimes, seeing someone showcase a strategy or tactic is the easiest way to pick up on it. But it's not only pro players that you should be watching. You know, from time to time, you know, you should be VOD reviewing your own games. And that way, you know, you can try to point out the mistakes you've made and try to come up with your own solutions to them. However, okay, so VOD reviewing your own games is much harder to do because, you know, if you don't know the right things to look out for, like, you know, coming up with your own tactic can be, you know, exceedingly tricky. Still though, you know, you should definitely do it from time to time, especially after a tough match. You know, so if you need some tips on how to review your own vibes, check out our recent guide that goes over all the things you need to look out for. And finally, if you're looking to improve your team play tactics, involve your teammate in this process, okay? Like for instance, maybe you both watch a Duo Winner Royale highlights video, then point out specific moves you know, they made that you think would be helpful in your own matches, or, you know, you just burst out your own vibes and just go through them together. No matter if it's a specific technique or a more big picture decision, you know, there's a lot you can learn by reviewing gameplay. You know, once you've spotted what you think is a viable tactic, the second step is to analyze it. Because guys, it's never enough just to learn how to do things. You've gotta understand the reasoning behind those actions fully. That way, you're gonna know when and when not to use them. It could save your life in a game, you never know. So one example I like to give is players that don't know when to use 90s. 
They'll know the technical aspect, you know, like how to crank them, but they're gonna do it at the wrong time. Like, I still see players in fights try to do 90s up to a guy five stories above them. And the player on high ground, whew, just beams the heck out of them because, you know, surprise, surprise, you know, the player is using the technique wrong. They're trying to crank when an enemy is already on height, which in most cases you never want to do. So what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that, you know, you don't want to fall into the trap of knowing something, but not knowing the correct way to use it. So when you're watching another player, you always need to be asking yourself, why did they do that? Then start analyzing the setting, you know, things like their position compared to enemy positions or the zone timer, their material count, you know, inventory, health and so much more. You know, every little move should be thoroughly inspected, not only the moves they make, but also the ones they don't. You guys get what I mean, right? You don't? Well, all right, let's move on to another example of analyzing tactics. OK, so let's look at a short clip by Irish pro player Save It. We're gonna play the first clip and by yourself, I want you guys to try and figure out why he played it the way he did, all right? Try to analyze every decision right now, as well as other alternatives, you know, choices, you know, he could have made. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean, the next one is like... All right, hot drop number three, bear back. And then I'm gonna take him. Okay, okay, so a few things to go over with this kill, all right? First of all, why did save it W key? Well, okay, his opponent was in a pretty bad spot. They were in a wooden base, which is extremely easy to approach, right? Not only that, but they had the storm behind them, leaving little room to maneuver, all of which made an excellent W King opportunity for someone like save it who wants to rack up points. Second, you know, when he failed the first wall replace, why did he put a ramp down? You know, you might think it was because he wanted to phase into their box, but it was probably to prevent his opponent from placing a trap above him. Because guys, again and again, man, if you look closely, you're going to notice that floor piece above Savid wasn't his. And third, all right, let's look at something that he didn't do. Like, why didn't he phase in? Okay, so an easy technique, you put a ramp behind you, as he did, and you jump into the wall as you break it, right? I'm sure we've seen all the pros do it, and it could be a simple way to secure a frag. Why not here? Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, guys, you know, he didn't even know his opponent's health. Also, it's the end game, which means players are more likely to have traps in their inventory. So he played it safe by, you know, staying on his side of the bills, and it really worked out. His opponent went for a trap play, but it had no effect. So do you see what I mean by how you can learn from thinking of tactics they didn't do? From that, guys, like we've now gotten a clear picture of when to use a ramp phasing technique. As you can see, it is so vital to always ask yourself why players make particular actions, right? If you include that in your studying sessions, I promise you it's significantly going to improve your understanding of those tactics. OK, so one final tip that I can give you guys today to help you learn stuff while analyzing gameplay is, uh oh, you got to write everything down. Yeah, I said you got to write. I know. I know. I get it. You just got out of school. Why would you want to take those notes at home? Right. But seriously, writing things down helps ingrain the actions into your head, meaning, you know, you'll have an easier time remembering them later on. And that's what we want. Right. We want to get better at that. So to remember every bit of info so that we can more easily, you know, recall them in the heat of the moment. So as you're analyzing things, guys, write down your conclusions, for instance, guys. So with the last clip, you can jot down, place a ramp behind you to block traps if your opponent controls the floor above you. Or don't get too crazy trying to W key into players boxes during the end game. All right. So writing those down, like writing all these types of tips and referring to them later, is going to take your game to the next level. I promise. All right. So the final step in learning new tactics is to practice oh, uh oh, and apply what you've discovered. You got to put some time in. If it's a tactic that involves a particular building or editing technique, you've got to have the mechanics down pat. So creative training is a must. You know, I say like literally around 10 to 15 minutes every day to brush up on your skills. But you know how often you practice is totally up to you. Then you need to apply the tactics. You can do this like someone in creative, all right? Like if it's a box fighting tactic, you can get a friend or, you know, find an opponent to run box fights against. But if it's something more strategical, like, you know, rotation or in-game tactics, you know, the best play to apply those are in arena. And this is where all those notes come into handy. You can refer to them, you know, while you play as a healthy reminder, because you're not going to remember everything, guys, 100% of the time, especially. So just be sure that you don't force anything. Don't head into a match thinking that you got to use what you just learned, all right? Because as we just discussed, there's a right time and there's a right place for everything. It's a gradual process. So please be patient. 
So guys, just like how a teacher might want you to do homework every single day, yo, you gotta do the same for Fortnite. You gotta put in the grind, man. You gotta put in those hours. You gotta be committed. At least, you know, if you want to learn as much as possible. Study, study, and practice, yo. Those are the keys to self-improvement and being able to pick up new tactics. Do it every chance you get. Write things down so you can refer to them later. And most importantly, think about the situations leading up, you know, to when a specific tactic gets used so you can better understand the reasoning behind them. So just to recap everything, to learn new tactics. First, you got to watch some gameplay. Pro player highlights are the most accessible place to start. You can always review your own VODs and try to come up with new ideas based on how things went in your game. Second, spot and analyze the tactics you see. This can include like anything from a specific technique to how players rotate. The goal is to figure out the reason each tactic got used. That way, you can gain a better understanding of when to use them yourself. Finally, 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 practice what you've learned and apply the tactics to real matches because without training, everything you study eventually goes to waste. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guide. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my new Insta at your motivation guy. Anyway, that's it for the video, folks. Once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a like and sub to the channel. We post tips and tricks and other Fortnite content daily, so don't miss out. And if you like, you can use code ProGuys in the item shop to support the team behind these videos with every purchase you make. We'll see you later.